rejection, rejection, rejection. It hurts so bad that it prevents us from doing the things that we really want to be doing. For example, talking to our crush. And the funny thing about this is that we're not actually scared to go out there and talk to our crush. What we are scared of is the painful emotions that we think we are going to feel if everything doesn't go according to plan. So to help you attract the person of your dreams, let's talk about some basic rules to follow when you are trying to talk with your crush to spark up a conversation in the hopes to build some attraction. My name is Anna and stay tuned for another amazing video. Number one, firstly, you need to stop focusing on that outcome. Now, of course, you want to talk to your crush and you want to build attraction so that they like you back and you guys can date and live happily ever after. However, if you are so set in stone of making sure you have a date with this person, you are no longer in the present. You are so focused on the future that you could miss out on direct communication and important interactions that will actually lower your chances of grabbing a date. So instead, just focusing on having a good time with your crush. Make sure you approach when you are alone. You may feel you have more confidence if your friends are kind of in the background somewhere. However, if you do this, you will make her feel like you are not strong, you are not independent or confident. And also please make sure that she or he is on their own too. Relax. You are going to be a bundle of nerves when you approach your crush. However, you can hack your brain into feeling a lot calmer so that you don't make any mistakes. And all you have to do is focus on exhaling slowly. Remind yourself of your greatness. If you are aware of how amazing you are and how much of a catch you are and what you bring to a relationship, you are a lot less likely to feel upset if this person does reject you. Plus, it gives you a confidence boost. Make sure they feel comfortable. Don't just approach someone and think that you can start a conversation and that things will be okay. Because if you are approaching a lady specifically, make sure you don't do it from behind because you will startle her. And if the first thought of your conversation is her feeling alarmed or frightened or unsafe, you are going to find it a lot harder to actually change her mind to get to like you. So wait until she has given you the come over to me signal with her eyes. If she keeps staring at you for more than three seconds frequently, it's a sign that she is interested in you. And if she does refuse to make eye contact, do not approach. Get them to talk about themselves. This means during the conversation with your crush, you need to get them to open up and talk about themselves. And if you can, make them feel like you care about the things that you say. You need to be asking follow-up questions. This is going to make them feel safe, which is a great basis for attraction. Get them to help you. Okay, you are stuck about the first thing to talk about with your crush because maybe you are a bunch of nerves and anxiety is getting the best of you. However, you can do something a little bit sneaky. You can actually ask them for a favour. You could say, I'm so sorry I don't have my glasses, can you point me in the right direction of the soya milk? Or you can ask for the time or be very ballsy and drop something in front of this person, bend down, collect it and hope that this person also bends down to help you collect whatever it is you've dropped all over the place. If, however, you are trying to start a conversation on social media, make it look as if you are interested in something similar. For example, you could like her comment and naturally, this person will snoop on your social media profile to find out more about you. And if you have a good social media platform, she's gonna be like, mm, let me message this person back. Smile more. Now, I know I said at the start of the video not to focus on the outcome. However, you do want things to work out in your favor. Obviously, you want this to be a long-term commitment. But one of the easiest ways that you can let them know that you are marriage material is to smile more because you give the illusion that you are humble, friendly, and very inviting. Do not be overly sexual. If you come across too sexual and use too many innuendos, they may think that you are just after a one night stand. They will label you as a player and you will not be able to progress in the conversation. Make it obvious that you are attracted to them. This ties in well to the previous tip because if you don't make it obvious that you find this person attractive, they will just naturally assume that you are very friendly and just talking to them because you are a nice guy. And if you are too much of a nice guy, you are going to get friend zoned. 
Build a connection as soon as you can. Find something that you can both relate on and use that as a building block for building a deep, meaningful connection. So this means paying attention to the things that they talk about so that you can turn it around and say, hey, I notice you talk about this interesting thing a lot of the time. Why don't we go try it out together? Even if it's something that they do that you have no experience in, you're not interested in, suggest to do it anyway. By picking up on these small subtleties, it means you are attentive, which is an attractive trait. Make it your mission to stay in touch. The goal is to get this person to think about you continuously so that you guys have a chance at dating. So make sure that you guys have each other on Facebook or follow each other on Instagram, whatever your social media platform is. And if this is the first bit of communication that you have together in person, try to get each other's phone numbers if you can so that you are guaranteed to stay in touch. Make them feel comfortable. You have to focus on eliciting positive body language because without even realizing it, you could sound like you are interested in your crush, but if they see you in your negative closed off body language, mm -mm, they won't entertain you. So you need to make sure you are engaging in strong eye contact frequently and your torso and your feet are facing in their direction. Use humor. You may be freaking out on the inside because you want to make sure that this interaction is serious enough so that she considers to date you. But remember, don't take yourself so seriously. We do have videos dedicated to how to be a lot funnier, so go check that out next. But you need to talk about something funny. It could even be an embarrassing situation that happened to make her giggle. If the both of you get to laugh, it removes the awkwardness. And that is when a friendship forms, which would then turn into a romantic relationship ask them out. As well as paying attention to your own body language, you need to be noticing if they are interested in you. So don't expect a lady to ask you out on a date. Instead, you need to say if you want to go out with her and hey, let's go and do this hobby that you like. Let's go paint a turtle in the park whatever that means. So you need to verbalize that you are interested in them. Now I get it, it's scary and you probably just wanna make her do all the jumps, but if you let them know you are interested, you know sooner or later if you can have a successful date and you can continue the relationship or if she shuts you down so you can be like, rejection, mm, doesn't matter, I'm gonna go find someone else anyway for getting to the end of the video that really means a lot and something that you can do to really make my day is to subscribe to the membership on our channel the link in the description bar below will tell you more about what that entails but specifically you get your name up on our super fan board right here these are some amazing people that support the channel every single month if you appreciate the amount of content that we are pumping out on a weekly basis then this is a great way to say thank you i really hope you have an amazing day see you in the next video.